I'm William Osmond, and I've successfully infiltrated Peter Brown's shop. Other way to the shop. What the hell? What are you doing? Are you wearing my hoodie? He found us. I don't know how, but he found us. So we were, what, two weeks ago we were at Pier 9? Yeah, in San Francisco on the Pier 9. Dude. Uh, it's like Autodesk and Constructibles, it's all kind of the same thing they own them, right? Exactly, and there was this display of a zoetrope. It was spinning under a strobe light, and the guy basically said, um, you could do this exact same thing with a real artichoke. Right, and we knew we were thinking the exact same thing at that point. We looked up at each other, right. and we said out loud, I'm Arby's. Make a video. If you are epileptic, um, <laughs> From a serious note, just go ahead and skip this video. I don't think so. I don't think it's that bad. Is that bad? I don't know. You'll get the really bright pulsing. If you have any tendency for epilepsy or any flashing yeah. lights, then just If you like it. good videos, skip this video. Just skip it. So the stroboscope, which is what this is, is a, a, just a really bright light that flashes in sync with something that spins, and you can freeze things. And I think the best way to show that is to just demonstrate. Let's do it. What are we going to freeze? I think the sander. Should we shove the popsicle stick in? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Poor Mr. Sander. He looks so pensive. I feel worse for the popsicle stick. <laughs> That's really cool. That looks really cool. Okay, so here we are at the table saw, and we're gonna do something that's gonna make me crazy nervous, which is make the table saw look like it's not moving. It's not a saw stop, is it? It is not, no, no. It will not stop. Oh no. Yeah, so don't, don't put your finger in there. Need that be, because I have it, I have it ignoring the time of the pulse, because this interferes, this will like trigger this. Okay. And so I tell it to ignore like, pulses it detects under a certain time. Let me get the scope. Channel, channel one, time. The crows seem very disapproving of your progress. <laughs> That's not surprise me. You don't know why you pissed off the crows so badly. <laughs> Sorry, crows. Yeah. Okay, so, table saw usually moves at a ridiculously fast speed. And we're gonna turn it on and actually see that, right? And then you're gonna turn on your, do you have a, you have a name? Do we come up with a name? Your amazing strobo machine. Strobomatic. The strobomatic. Two. Two. <laughs> Freeze ray? Freeze ray. I'm gonna turn the table saw on first, and we're gonna stop it. Time. Stop time. Yeah. Okay. William and cameraman John are on their way back for day two. And what I've done, picked up a couple of artichokes. So I've got my face plate here. And you can see it's just a waste block and I've hollowed out a recess. And that connects to the, to the, um, the lathe. And all I'm gonna do is try and stick one of these in resin and see if we can make that work. I'm just gonna use a coping saw because I never get to use my coping saw. Look at that! Cuts it beautifully. I'm going to be using fast cast since it sets in 20 minutes. And as I said, William is on his way to the shop. And now we've got about 10 minutes before it starts to harden. All right, and now let's get our artichoke on here. Okay, and now I need a little pressure. Um, I need some downward pressure. Duct tape, router bits. Woo! Okay, very strange looking setup. In about 10 minutes it should be all cured and ready when William arrives. We are all sleep deprived. William actually is doing sleep deprived math. 
We're going to do our best, uh, but we all know the best videos come from sleep deprived math. 16 times the period divided by 256 pre Hmm. God. Is it doing anything interesting? It is. Let me turn this off too. Does that help? Does this help? Uh, yes. Does that help? Yes. Oh, that one's good. Oh, yes. Does this help? Oh my yes. god. <laughs> Is it frozen yet? Uh, what would I do? Definitely my bad can I software. Can I sing Dr. Horrible now? Yeah, you can. Okay. With your freeze ray, you will stop the world. <laughs> More singing, less singing. <laughs> William's never seen Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. <laughs> oh, Send him oh. your rebukes. That's it. A rose might be a hard thing to start with. Do you want to try something else? Yeah. Is this really necessary? <laughs> I think so. That's a pretty terrible sound. It smells really good though. It's like the worst, most inefficient stir fry. How does that look? Yeah. Looks pretty good, actually. One, one broccoli. <laughs> is this broccoli? I think it is. I think it. <gasps> Did you touch the thousand degree owl? No, I just it split a little <gasps> bit. It's so perfect. Do you have any super glue? I, I mean, I do have luck with super glue, but I always have like problems with it not drying fast enough. Oh yeah. Hold, yeah. <laughs> we can. I just don't know how well it's going to activate in yeah. wet <laughs> broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> it's really close. I think it's just a matter of turning the sucker. There, see? Oh wow, yeah. that's weird. I feel like I feel like this one's not gonna work right. Okay. Either gonna be more interesting, or something terrible is gonna happen, which is we'll be. Not sure what I want to see more: an artichoke actually like growing, or an artichoke exploding in the way. It's not bad. Give me ranch dressing. Um, so I think for the sake of our own sanity, we could definitely start the slowest and then progressively. Do you think we should put on safety glasses? Yellow? Yeah. You're blue? Yeah. I'm green. Let's see what looks like. Okay, so it's totally working. It hasn't exploded. We're spinning one. And there's a little reflective sticker on the back, and we've wrapped the, what do you, what do you call it back? The Hand butt. wheel. Oh, I like butt better. The on butt. the butt of the lathe, there's a piece of black gaffer tape and then a reflective sticker for the tack. And every pulse is detected by a little Arduino inside the stroboscope. Adjust the angle, and we can try to find an angle where the leaves are naturally growing. And really centered. I mean, this, this, I hope this looks cool. I'm really <laughs> Dude, this is super cool. It looks amazing. <laughs> we can switch too. If you, I can hold the tack if you. No, want. I'm perfectly comfortable doing this. Yeah. This is for posterity. We're going ahead and move this forward uh, to 1,200 RPM. Oh, if I turn it up. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here's uh, artichoke number two. Oh, that's... Dude, it just opened. That's wild. Is it frozen? It's totally frozen. Are you want to decide? I'll watch it on YouTube. It looks like Audrey from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, it does. Because it's going to be like a saw blade if you touch it. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Did you just scream like a little girl? No, I heard that from inside the house. I can try it again. You want me to put it back on? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's like hitting it. I'm not sure what's hitting it. Ah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's scary. It could be cooler. <laughs> Does it look good? It looks like a three-year-old got a full of a sharpie. Waterflower, <laughs> like a lily. Yeah, like or a lily or something. Yeah, it looks downright vicious. 
Yeah, and your um, aging technique is impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Adam Savage would be proud. Uh, I feel like you're being sarcastic. Ah. We got it even open. Opened up a little. Ow! It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Ow! It's fine. <laughs> Cut your finger off. That's fine. It's fine. I want to try to get as far into that center blossom as possible. How does that look, John? It looks amazing. Yeah, I think. I don't think we're going to get started. Make super nice. uh, I think so. I'm surprised it's It'll be a really weird corsage to give your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> So then I can wiggle it. That's true. We're just gonna crank this up to 800 RPM. Jack, I can already see it loosening from the right. Fire, fire to choke. <laughs> that was everything I hoped it would be. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That was awesome. This video that was so it. worth it. Was that worth yeah. driving up from Ventura? No, it was. Even, even if we didn't get it to work, it was all worth it just yeah. hanging out with Peter Brown. That was so nice. Alright, is it time for you guys to go? Is it bad to eat raw asparagus? Okay, I found this on the web for is it bad to eat raw asparagus? What does it taste like? Grass. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I, I, doesn't it literally mean a spear of grass? It's like long, it really does. What are we doing here? I was just gonna do an outro. Oh. Tell people to go and visit your channel, but I'm not sure that's a great idea now. No, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is William. I wanted to thank him very much for stopping by shop time and taking the time not only to come up here, but to come up here multiple days in a row and fling artichoke all over my shop. That was worth it. It was really fun. Yeah. So I had a really good time. Uh, cameraman John doesn't like to be on camera. You can't see him waving back there. Check out William's channel. I've got a link to it in the description. We're going to put it in the end cards. Thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. Awesome. I would fling asparagus. Artichoke! Here, let's just do a quick object lesson. Oh no. Asparagus. They look the same, just... <laughs> they don't look the same at all. Artichoke. Asparagus. Asparagus. Now close your eyes. Okay. Hold up the artichoke. Uh. Hold up the asparagus. Well done. Gold star. I'm sorry All right. I messed it up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Please take your vegetables and leave. Thank you. <laughs>